Hey, uh, good day to you all. Uh, in this video, I, uh, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you uh, the basics of a uh, uh, fire control system. How fire control system work. If you were um, ever wondering what these things are and what people do when they are pushing the buttons of these things, uh, uh, this video is for you. And uh, I just um, made a little representation of a s very dumbed down version of these fire control uh, systems which uh, basically do uh, the basic thing learned in manual artillery. They uh, help to position yourself, they help to uh, find the uh, ballistic solution in both polar, that means you are uh, it finds the solution uh, uh, on, on coordinates and the vector which can find solution on only on range and elevation difference. And it finds to it, it helps to orient your gun. So uh, let's get into it. So uh, in this little mission, I have the artillery piece somewhere here, and I have a forward observer somewhere here, and he is uh, uh, looking for targets, and I I'm supposed to engage those targets uh, in the shortest possible time, obviously. And in order to do that, first I go to the to the yeah, to this guy, because uh, he's the helper. He's the uh, helper of the of the gun guy, and we find uh, our position. Well, you see, there is pretty much nothing to orient ourselves to, so we need to find a little uh, hill or higher place or whatever we can see something because because you need a good point. You need to see the gun. I'm seeing, and you also need to some orientation point let me show you why uh, you might ask that uh, why not GPS well there's a little chapel there and I see that house over there which is on a hill and well let's take that house and see it is on the map if, if I'm somebody I need I need to know my approximate position to find my uh, precise position I, I'm looking at that direction so problem is I am looking at the whether this or this house, but um, this is no, this is that house because we have two houses square. Yeah, this is this one. So I'm looking at this house here, and I need to find the uh, uh, precise uh, coordinate, the five-digit coordinate of its uh, what is it? Um, eastern corner. That's where I'm going to uh, orient myself to or find my position first. Uh, you might ask why not GPS? Uh, first, in armor GPS only gives you four digit coordinates which is 10 meters accuracy, it's not enough. You need a five digit uh, accuracy which is uh, one meter accuracy and in reality, uh, in reality GPS is able to do that, military GPS is able to do that, but uh, if it works. And we know from, from uh, Ukraine and from uh, Contemporary, it's not a continental conflict. In a in a colonial conflict, it's not a big deal. No one can jam your GPS, but a, in a formidable force can jam your GPS or interfere with it or shoot down uh, your satellites or whatever. So you're not really you cannot really rely on GPS, and, and you need everything. Good weather, you don't need fol if the foliage is is is, is dense. So you better learn to uh, uh, orient or position yourself without GPS. And for that you need a fixed point, uh, which is the x coordinate for that fixed point. What I just find is two two one zero two. So I put the asm two two one zero two. What was that? Yes, two two one zero two, and the at the vertical coordinate is one seven one four. Well, it is two one seven one seven one four two. One seven one four two, and it is rather three, not two. Yeah. And what I need now is to find the azimuth of that point, which is forty four seventy nine. Four, forty four seventy nine, and I need to find the distance to that point. I just range it seventeen eighty three. Seventeen. 83 and whoop it just calculates my position where I'm looking at that point 23886 but this is my position I need the guns position in order to do that because 
yeah well you you need you have two basic if you don't want to lace uh you can use two azimuth for the same purpose you just give two content two azimuth and it gives you the position anyway if you know the position where your observation position now you can find the the gun's position by giving your position to the uh, feeding your position to the computer 2388 6 and it's it's 17 one, eight, one. And what I need now is to measure an azimuth on the gun itself. So I need to measure as azimuth on the gun. Is one one four two nine. One four two nine. And I measure a distance on the gun is 76 meters 76 meters and on the bottom I find uh, the coordinates of the gun 23 9 6 2 23 9 6 2 23 9 6 2 and, and uh, yeah no no I'm not, I wasn't, uh, no that was 23 17 187 17 1 8 7 and the, here I need the map because I need the elevation for that so I come to the map I know that it must be somewhere where my map sign is shows me 23 9 6 2 23 9 6 2 to this and uh, 17 1 8 7 17 1 8 Seven twenty-six nine sixty. So it's somewhere here. It is three meters elevation. So I feed it three meters elevation. Good. So that's 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 what you basically need. You just set up your gun and you find your position and f feed your position into the uh, fire control uh, system. Uh, the next, obviously, it is <laughs> to find. Uh, targets so it is our forward observer and he just uh, he also know the approximate position of our forward observer or a forward observer knows his own position and uh, he is just observing some targets I just set up here now that is a a uh, logistic hub and I'm looking at that direction it's next to these solar panels and next to that house so I know that this is somewhere here it must be somewhere here how, how far well I am what, 800 meters away so 10 meals is 8 meters that means uh, it's uh, 30 meals to the left of the house that means 3 times 8 that's 24 20 something meters which is one quarter of this so it is not pretty far it is like here and we need the coordinates of that on the up 16 uh, the first coordinate 1689 3 1689 3 and the other coordinate B 893 is uh, 1811 1811 and 8 18 11 and 8 and we need an elevation which is 16 meters 16 meters good here in this part of the uh, of this this isn't a fictional one so uh, don't expect it really won't work like that it just show you what valid solution you have for different charges you you know, you, you 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 reach that distance with charge 2 so we take the smallest charge and let's say we want to get there fast so we go low angle so we here we sell as the charge 2 and it gives us the charge 2 we have 5 6 7 elevation and 32 seconds of flight time and the azimuth that target is 4 6 25 so let's set first the elevation which is the low elevation 5 7 6 so let's go to the gunner set the elevation which was five seven six five 
One, two, three. I know what I'm doing. Five. Seven, six, elevate the gun now until the bubble is comes up. Good. And the elevation what we had, well an elevation the azimuth is uh, four six two five and go to the orientation page and let's feed that with the proper azimuth four six two five four six two five. Not six two five four six two five good, and here I'm. Um, I can orient onto a known point. I can orient onto a known azimuth. Here I'm orienting with the vector twenty one if I any way I have it. What I need is is uh, to put in a uh, the uh, the vector's azimuth on the side of the gun. So I come to the. I come to the helper. I rotate, I go on to the, with the side to the side, I go with the uh, vector to the side of the gun and take an azimuth reading 1438. I feed it here, 1438. Enter and it gives that the this gun side on the vector will be 3187. 3187. So I come to the gun. And that takes 3187. 3147. And I rotate the entire gun until, until I see the guy with the vector. He, there he is. I rotate onto his vector. Go back to check on the parallax error. Make another reading on the side. 1438. 1438 didn't change much so my azimuth is just set so what was the charge that was charge 2 take a shell That was charge two. And get this in the gunner and just check everything that have elevation is five seven six. The elevation was five seven six, charge two, and my sight should be. 3187, 3187. So good. Um, sh I should be set. I go to the console. I switch on bullet cam and auto load just for the sake of seeing what we did. Let's fire. <laughs> a little lower so I need to uh, lower my elevation a little bit we will learn uh, fire correction too so uh, don't worry about it I just need to lower my elevation a little bit and turn about two to three mils to the right and we can give them <laughs> always have to adjust after each shot probably for the azimuth and elevation and let's go to the
Um, the siege is just destroyed the. Uh, with fire correction, we just destroyed the uh, logistic hub of the enemy. So, um, here is how uh, artillery fire, fire control systems help you a lot doing your mathematics and uh, calculating for you the solution. And it also is able to do. Uh, um, able to do corrections as well but this is another lesson so uh i hope you enjoyed it i i um included this into the well uh, in the in the in the root directory of the of the uh, of the map mod you find all this uh, uh excel sheet excel chart and you can use it at your liking and you can modify it or uh, whatever you want to do with it anyway it's a great fun to play around with it so I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day.